the FYP and you ain't scared of me. Bring your ass in here. I ain't got time to be playing with y'all tonight. Too focused, what's happening? Dream, what's up? California love. <laughs> Oh, look who at the art table tonight. Focus, you paint with your Superman draws on. <laughs> you. <laughs> your man's came up here with a whole dick ruler. So, I use this it's not going on, on this board right here. Oh, okay. You ain't use it to spank your wife with? No. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, how's everybody doing tonight? How was y'all's Friday? Was it, it was good, good to you? It was, or was it bad to you in the worst way? It was good. What they said, she had so bad today. We think it was $400 or $30. Ooh, they go heartless. Oh, heartless. heartless. I guess. I guess. I was just thinking a lot, bro. They go, they go, they get that mother. They go, they go, they go. Bro, you just stopped your mouth. And I had to walk the way I came back. He was pewing. And I was doing this so he can get loose. Hey, Haley. He wasn't even live yet, bro. What I did to you, bro? You mad at me? I did something. I did something. What I did, bro? What you could do? You could do something. 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 You I apologize. Oh, man, I'm speaking on mute. Everything's smooth, man. How everybody doing for the Friday? Oh, How you doing, big brother, little brother? I'm doing good. I'm a little hungry. I'm making some uh, ramen. I got the munchies. I need some food. Kind of green. I said, pizza beans. Smoking like a dude. You know what the hell I mean. Smoking. Hey, in the middle of the morning. I eat like I'm in the kind of jail. I'm going to do some chips. All right. So the nice topic was about love and relationships, but we gonna talk about how your expectations versus reality. Why are you cutting me off every time I try to You say happy mood today. What's going on? I don't like you. Okay. I don't, I don't, every time I, don't like every time I talk, you want to talk. Every time I come to the kitchen, you in the kitchen eating up all the food. What the problem is? Are you talking expectations and reality or what? Expectations versus reality. Like, do you ever put a standard on your partner's significant other or whatever, um, and then they don't meet up to those standards that you placed upon them? How does that make you feel? I'm in my feelings. I slowly disappear. <laughs> you fade into, not you fade into the background. Singing in the background. I'm fading. Slowly, slowly myself disappear. <laughs> like, hey, what are you doing Oh, no, no, no. I got you say you become a peck rat. Not you hey, you ain't even gonna chunk deuces us say goodbye. You just out here, cuz. Nah, when they take the phone and they said this, this number no longer in service. Damn. <laughs> all the fuck you playing, okay. invisible man. I ain't gonna do that. Not no, invisible man, have, no, no, that's the way we gotta have a conversation. But sometimes, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes people be living in false reality or. And they try to make a person what they, I don't know, man. I ain't, ain't never been in that situation. I'm chill with it. <laughs> what you mean yeah. you ain't never been in that situation? You ain't never really like built somebody up in your head and then when you with that person, you like, damn, this ain't nothing about what I thought it was. That's what I would do. I know like, high school crushes. I always want to say, I know it'll be good, but I get over there like, man, this ain't. <laughs> Art lover, I see my name. I feel like you got kitty baby daddy. <laughs> what? Let me go. I ain't trying to be number seven, baby. How we jump from expectation versus reality to kitty baby daddy? No, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You know, like you have your high school crush, you know what I'm saying? And you run into him. Okay, you know what I'm saying? But in your mind, you're like, okay, I know what you're doing over there. You, know, uh, you mean like um, back in the day, like they was one way and you wanted them, but then when they got up to age and wanted you, they looked different. That's what you're saying? Yeah, then like you've been over there, the whole thing, like, doctors everywhere. Well. well. Going to the bathroom, got little stains there. No. <laughs> um, Dream sent you a gift to focus while you acting like you so focused. <laughs> Wake your ass up. We talking about back into reality. But then that is a stop back in reality. In your mind, you say you're going to be this way, you get over there, you see this. It's just like you walked into another one, different world. Why am I getting feedback? Oh. My input on that. I think that the older we get, I think I find that putting expectations on anything is just a bad idea. You kind of just got to live and let live. And you got to kind of just let things be what it is. You can make an idea. My favorite saying is you make a plan, don't laugh at it. So if you can make an idea what you want to do, but 
Yeah, my uncle always tell me not to plan for nothing because it's gonna fall through every time. But <laughs> yeah. that's, that's 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 how I live. I have to have a plan. Even if the plan don't work, I have a backup plan. The backup plan don't don't work. I'm thinking and scheming about something else. You know what I mean? Like I don't like to not and not in a sense of being in control. I don't like to feel like I don't know what's about to happen. Even though I know that's the way life's set up, but I like to know that I know that I know that I know. Okay. I need some more brushes. So what is the reason for this conversation? I mean this all uh, this topic. What's the problem? Nothing. Why well, you always think something had to happen? Why well, you always think the worst of me, cuz? I think like you want to have a conversation about it? Nah, it's just like, I'm gonna give you, you a simple example. You know, I, you know, I've been married before, so I ain't, I ain't shit don't bother me. But uh, say like for instance, this person promised you a romantic dinner, and you done built the dinner up in your head. You thinking you finna go to a five star restaurant, not like Red Lobster, man. And then when you get there, it's basically like a popping a mom and pop Burger King. Like food ain't even good. You know what I'm saying? That's the best way I can describe it without being graphic. <laughs> But yeah, I was just thinking about like just in general expectations versus okay. reality in I relationships. I get what you're saying. But um, as a wise man once said, and fit, and I will turn to Will Smith, you gotta enjoy the moments that you spend with that person. Now, the place it would be so crappy, but you know what? I don't know. No, scratch that. I don't have the conversation because I don't know. Nah, uh -huh. you starting off good. I was waiting. You almost sounded like you about to preach. Oh. Is there a doctor no, in the house? Doctor! It's about enjoying the moments with the person, you know what I'm saying? Because really, the vibe we be turning about as long as you and her, or or you and him, is, is, is enjoying each other's company. Y'all making moments. So you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, the rest of the wrong body, that might have let you down expectations, but that will let you down to a, like, a memorable moment between you and that person. Now, if, now, if you, like, if you had a bit of your head that this woman or this man is a certain way, and then once you get to know him, and it ain't what you think, I think that is what you refer to, right? Oh, uh, no. Not, not exactly. <laughs> but you, I like where you're going with it, though. You're preaching. You're preaching. So you either, either way, you're preaching to somebody. You're going to touch somebody's say, heart. Listen, because when you say expectations, of, like, it's like in relationship or situation, you know what I'm saying? That's what comes to mind. Like, you got to listen to That was just an example I was throwing out, though. But, you know, okay. that's, a, that's, a, that's the classier version than the nastier version. Because, you know, that don't happen to me. Before I had a relationship with this girl. At first, I thought it was because, you know, she's a pretty young lady. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That's not good. You know what I'm saying? Then once. Somebody, somebody like, sent a back signal for Euphoria. She missed an election. Let me see if she texted me back. I got the ring off. Nope. And, um, she popped in at the beginning, but I don't know what happened. Hello, everybody coming well, in. How y'all doing? Tell us how y'all Friday was, is, and how it has been, will be. Um, Vic said, hey, my babe, heartless, even though, let me scroll up before I say, even though she didn't speak to the rest of us. I know you love us, too. But listen, but listen, but listen, she did the right thing, though. She did the right thing, though. She spoke to her. You got there or not. Coming up, coming up, here speaking to your man. Coming up in here talking about, so, hey, my babe. I got to talk with this girl, you know what I'm saying? Then it turns out she was, um... She was in love with somebody else, and I, before I even found that out, I had found in love with her, and my expectations was broken, my heart was broken. Yeah. Everything was broken. She um, created a stalker, a psychopath. I ain't, I ain't used to this. You talking like you got some sense tonight. You must have got a good night's sleep after you tried to get out the live early. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not acting like that. Huh? What'd you say? I accept a pack. I accept a pack. But like, but like what two folks were saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, these days, you, know, you can't build it. You go into that with expectations, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta let it build its way out. So basically, you're saying you gotta be like Tony Preston. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let, let it, it flow. flow. Let it flow. Everything's gonna work out the way you <laughs> yeah, any relationship that you get in, you have to work at it, you know what I'm saying? So that would be my only expectation is that you put in the work. Yeah, yeah. I'll put in. Uh, what, 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 what if you've been putting in the work for a long ass time and then, like, the work ain't working? <laughs> oh, I got an answer. That. That. There's no endless time. Gonna get... No matter when, you, when you're in a relationship, it's worked the whole time. That's what I've been realizing about relationships. It's never done. Yeah. It's never done. Well, y'all know I just like to play the devil's advocate, so I just come to pick your brain and not your shit saying, you know what I mean? This time, when it's, when you call it quits, when it's what it become toxic and unhealthy, mentally unhealthy for you, when it's your everyday living. When it becomes draining, that's what you're saying. Then you gotta be like that. Yeah. Yes. 
<laughs> See, you know, it's good to have when y'all when y'all talking with some sense before I Hey Tay, hey Bestie. Oh, I was, I was about to give y'all a compliment, but I had to take it back because I had to remember sometimes y'all don't be talking with no sense. But it's good to get a male's perspective when y'all talking with some sense. That's, that's, that's the moral of the story. Everybody in the comments, you can chime in if you're nasty. But you know, it took me a long time to get here, though, man. I ain't think about it like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't look at it like that. Right. It's about growing up. Growing up. So, something as simple as. Something as simple as somebody making a promise to you to do something, but half assing it, that don't bother you? I, say, I, don't, look, I don't look to promises no more. You know what I'm saying? I look at actions. If you don't do something, don't promise me something, don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Yes, do it. No, let me just go ahead and do it. You know what I'm saying? The so promises, I love that promises. Wait. Either. You know what I'm saying? And it might not be that that you did intentionally, but it just happens. You know, you know, you know, you know, you whatever you can, let's do it. Let's show me action. I don't like what you want. I like what you want. It's funny you say that, though. It's like because I used to make a lot of promises, and I was basing off things that I wanted to do. In my heart, I honestly wanted to do it, but in actuality, yeah. I couldn't do everything I was promised. Why, why was it that you couldn't do it? Was it life? You was busy? Like, something else came up? Something more important? Because I feel like people make time for what they want to make time for. No, that's a real statement. Hey, Tian, they want you to look at the screen. Who want me to look at the screen? Let's look at the screen. <laughs> Take what you want. You trying to screenshot me? Those headphones are good. You got to go. Oh, whoa. Oh, wow, look. Hey, so pretty! <laughs> I love you, too, boo! Yeah, that's my best friend. Go, bestie. Go. That's my bestie. My bestie, go, bestie. <laughs> hey, Tia. Oh. I feel like I just won a lottery. Oh, thank you. I've been playing scratch offs all week. I'm gonna hit one time. There's my baby. There goes my baby. Now we're just, now we're just waiting on. Uh, hey, hey, how we doing? How we doing? I was waiting on you. It was lovely, but I take it that it was lovely. Then went to bed on the pillow. Oh, baby, I, I, I was like, no. Um, Cause I was still cleaning, right? Finally got it. Oh, to like, okay. okay, finally got it. Like ninety-three percent, super close, almost hundred. But I was like, I gotta do this stuff. Thank you, Tay. Thanks for gifting everybody, Tay. I gotta do this. Long time. Hey, my mother. I have to do this. Uh, what's that thing called? I was on like two days on one of the products. Uh, Euphoria. The topic is expectations versus reality in a relationship. Love and happiness. <laughs> what up, Mick? Love them make you do right. Like reality? Um, I think expectations versus reality. Why would you like say it? It expecting, away? expecting, or having standards higher than what you receive. Yeah, and I, how I does it make you feel? I, I don't, I don't, I don't believe in like expectations versus reality. My, my ex used to believe in all that stuff, right? My main thing with that is like you tell the person what you want out of the relationship, and either you both agree that that's what you both want, or you don't. Mm -hmm. Like you can't expect somebody to adhere to your standards. When, when they've already told you who they are, what they're like, and, and you know, like some of the things about them, right? And so, when, in my relationship, I know that we, we set a high standard for each other, right? We like to give each other space and room to grow, right? I'm not gonna go over here and instruct him to go and like roll out the red carpet for me if I've established like I don't like that behavior with him. You get what I mean? Yeah. So, it, it's like, um, I feel like you can't set expectations without first setting your boundaries and ground rules in the relationship. Now, if you guys have come to an agreement that it's like, we, this is something we both can do, then there's, you know, maybe something, you know, like, mm. Oh, uh, it's a cheap cord. That's what it is. Yeah, That's there's, there's no room to be disappointed in a relationship if you don't set expectations that originally were not even agreed on. Mm hmm so that's that, that's my main thing. Like, um, I had this thing, especially for me. Like, that's why I said my ex believed in it. I believe. E, what up, baby? Um, because my ex decided while we were in a relationship to put expectations on me for like, mm -hmm. um, oh, becoming dependent from your parents, learn to drive, and all. He put all these expectations on me because this is what he wanted for me. Right. And right here, I'm I'm doing things at my pace, and so he wanted to brush the pace because he set expectations on me, which I didn't agree with. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, and so for him, he's all like, "Oh, but you know, as a as as, as your partner, I don't expect you to procrastinate or whatever." It's like, bro, you cannot tell me what to do. Thanks we for like in the lab. Thanks. What? Thanks for coming in, Eddie. Talk to check. You talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, it just it got really ugly to the point where he was kind of saying like, "Oh, you just you never want to leave your parents' house. Oh, you never want to get ahead or become independent. Like, you don't need to degrade me to make your point that you're feeling some sort of way." Right? right, so he wasn't doing it in a supportive manner. He was just trying to yeah, exactly, get you to do what he wanted exactly. to do. And, and for me, it's it's not like that. Like you, you guys know that I like want to get out of this, but yeah, uh, psychologically, first off, psychologically, 
I am very dependent on my dad. And it's not because I don't want to like leave the nest. It's because he also doesn't want to let go of that grip. So right. I, have to, I have to fight in order to get freedom, right? And the right. problem with that is I'm tired of fighting. I've fought my whole life. Why am I going to continue fighting? But someone's like, okay, you know what I mean? So yeah. yeah, that's how I feel about it. I feel like in a relationship, there's no room to set expectations unless you've already set them into part and you've set those boundaries. Um, once the relationship starts to evolve and maybe you guys agree on new expectations, that's fine. Mm-hmm. But just setting them on your own and thinking, oh, my expectations were met, I'm disappointed. Well, that's a personal problem. So you think if he came at you in a more supportive way that you'd have been more open to it? Like if he said, well, let me help you do this as opposed to saying you need to do this. What up, creation? So, so the, the approach he took is like, look at me, look at me. This is what I have. And I'm like, well, so your mother died and that's why you have a house because you have mm-hmm. to pick your feet up by the boot. You have to pick yourself from the bootstraps. You have to work your ass off so you wouldn't lose the house and be homeless. Yeah. You can't come at me sideways and tell me like, oh, you got a house, you got a car, because you, right now you're paying seven hundred, eight hundred dollars for a car that's still in the freaking um the mechanic, and you're paying a car that's above your means just because you like the look. Are you stupid? The like, straight up, that's what I said to him. And so it's like, so you feel like he was doing more comparisons than trying to he, actually he was, like he was doing more comparisons and like he didn't have a foot to stand on because the car he had wasn't fully his, it wasn't fully paid. He was pretty much buying it from a friend, and the car was totaled. Just because it was, what was it? Um, it was one of those green sports cars. And, and then it was like the house, pretty much his mother passed away. So he took over the lease agreement, which wasn't even secure either. Right? And I was like, I was like, and then you want, what he wanted me to do was expectations for me to move in with him. But my expectations of him was not to squander his money. Because right. if I'm going to move in and I'm working my ass off and I'm sending the money I make to help you, even though we're not living together. I don't expect you to be using your money like like nobody's business with stupid shit when you're trying to maintain your household. Mm-hmm. But that's just me, you know. Like that's just me ranting. Like I, at this point, I don't I don't care because like my current partner, like we have an understanding on what we want out of each other, and and you know it's really um, healthy. Gotcha. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, I went around. Anybody else want to chime in? You said something that I'm glad you said about something. Hey, push. Because I think that that's super important even if you're in a relationship to meet time and just have a conversation like, what's your expectation to me? This is my expectation to you. And I'm going to take that advice. I, I like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's always good to reevaluate, but you can't just assume, you know, like, because I've leveled up, I want you to level up in this way, and I'm going to push my idea of what I want you to be on you. Like, it doesn't work that way. I'm just gonna Dream says she loves okay, everybody right. talent, and it's all beautiful. Noise, noise. Oh, there. I'm showing it, y'all. All right, Luna, good night. Ooh, okay. Can you turn it around or is it still wet? There we go. <laughs> I'm trying to make it separate because I'm in a smaller box. That's why I was trying to make it stand out. I'm trying and to I actually forgot to tag you. Well, you know, I, I drew uh, black lightning while I was at work. Really? Yeah, when I saw yours, I hey, forgot. Um, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Huh? Can y'all please tell us that her book is on a cold professional artist oh my god yeah, that I, just, was I, nice. just told, I just told her she um inspired me nice like, like, how long did that take you how long did it take me four days see you already you already working at professional pace what you mean what you talking about girl because I, I started uh, monday uh, and i finished uh i finished yesterday so what makes it not professional in your eyes i got a lot of work to do i still got a lot of work to do so what somebody uh, so be so I'm, wondering. I'm still practicing on blending and everything. I mean, hold on, let me put you in the picture so I can see. Because it looks good to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm still practicing blending. Nah, nah, what you mean? I'm still practicing. You look good to me. You know what I like the best about this picture right here? What is it? This yellow, how you change the yellow at the darker spot where there's a shadow. Are you talking here? I like that. Thank you. I like that because I know it was a that's an animated style, right? That's a cartoon style. It ain't no shade. It's block color. If you hit it on, you can come up with color style. It's blocked off. It's a, if you hit it right on the head, so I don't want to hear none of that. Yeah, it looks just like the um, comic book. Thank so, you, um, thank you, thank I, you. I don't know what you're talking about. We don't see what you I see. Mean, <laughs> but we also know as artists, we're our own worst critique, so. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all so much in the comments as well. You know, so, no, I got a whole, whole lot of stuff. They know I got a whole lot of pain. We need a blue. Oh, I did this one. Down here. I think I was in your live when you were talking about New Bay. New Bay is getting on my nerves. Already, guys! I'm going to say a lot of y'all know I was. Yeah, I'm going to say a lot of y'all know I was. Yeah, I'm going to say a lot of y'all know I was. Yeah, I'm going to say a lot of y'all know I was. Yeah, I'm going to say a lot of y'all know I was. Yeah
you know. You you here at the right time tonight. We talking about love and relationship. Love will make you do right. Yeah. yeah. I got a lot of different. I think a lot of y'all was uh. This is for the women. Affirmations. Okay. You know, beautiful, brilliant, right. humble, powerful, prosperous, smart, confident, well. You know, lady with a crow always gonna win in my book. <laughs> She said new bay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm saying a lot of, I think a lot of y'all was in in there when I was yeah. doing this one. So you changed your mind, he not a keeper? Oh. Keep keeper. He's not showing me he wants to be a keeper. I thought he was doing making all the right moves. What he, he, was, he was, he was, he was. I don't know what he's doing though. Took a little oh, nap. Lord, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. He took a little nap on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! You know what? I will paint. Like, that reminds me of a painting I have. <laughs> Let's see. I gotta do Wolverine. Deadpool. I gotta do Wolverine. It's only right. Nice, now, 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 where, where, where is these mistakes you're talking about? Because that's dope right now. What this? Thanks for the follow, G. What? So, so what, 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 where is the problem? I don't see the problem. I, still, I, I feel like I got a lot of work to do still. Y'all know I, I mean, start, Listen, I've been, been drawing. I've been drawing since I can last remember. Uh, but if I could say, if I was saying I was able to draw like this years ago, no, I just started doing this this year. You just started painting. Oh, but look, 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 look. I was gonna call you back, but I got got so many calls. What? It look good to me. I don't know what you're talking about. But since you up here, Taz. But since you up here, the topic was expectations versus reality when it comes to relationships. Oh my. So oh, no. now you got a chance. We opened up the floor to find out where new baby bugged over. Oh my! <laughs> now I'm gonna put on the spot. We all answered the question, but you know, if it make you feel better, if it make you feel better, I can take you out the big box. <laughs> no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> but I feel like I, I'm, I'm, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna respond to this, though. Take your time. Every now and again, all of us got a little preachers. Take your time. <laughs> you know what? I, I went to a little rant. So she, you, you, you're right about that. <laughs> um. So, relationships. You know, we, we, we. It's all about, you know, how the person comes on both ends. How you, the reality of a of, of a relationship is nobody's perfect. Right. That's right, one right. thing. Nobody's perfect. So you can't expect this and that from everybody. You can't expect this person to come how your last relationship came. They might come better. Exactly, so, because that's uh, what I thought was going on. Now you telling me something different. <laughs> but with with him, it's just more of we, he have he's like a very argumentative man. He's very argumentative. Next, we can we can I told like I told him we can have conversations, but every time we have a conversation, neither one of us should be raising our voice. Neither one of exactly. us should be doing none of this when we're both grown adults. Exactly. Listen to me. I listen to you. We we don't have to sit up here and you feel like you gotta say this, you know. I gotta feel like I gotta say that, and then you know another thing that's bad with relationships. A lot of times, men don't realize it. I ain't gonna say all men. Some men don't right. realize that we are very empathetic people. We, women, we're emotional. You know, we're emotional and, and, and more forgiving, and we're way more forgiving, way more forgiving. So when we want to have a conversation, we don't care if it's at two o'clock at night. Get up so we can have this conversation. You gotta get it off my mind. You gotta get it off your chest. You gotta get out of here. No, because you have a hundred. Hush up and let her tell her story. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta, you, like, they don't, some of them don't want to have that conversation. Like, we can talk about this another time. You know, as a couple, you're not supposed to go to bed yeah. angry with each other. Exactly. But listen, listen, come back to this. So tell me, why would you listen? If a man sleeps, that conversation can't wait till the morning? No. She might forget. It's right here. I need to get it off my oh, chest at that moment. Can you I need to get that off my chest. Book? She might forget. Right. I know me. I know I'll forget. And then it'll but, come later on, and then you be like, why you bringing it up so late? And I thought we was done with this conversation. You were done with this conversation. I ain't done with this conversation. But listen, I think you e- have a better understanding. Even though I hate to admit it, Slick is right, okay? Because <laughs> I only count one relationship, and that was to the goat that I was married to, okay? And that, ain't for, the, that ain't for the greatest of all times. I do mean the Billy Goat. But, um, but yeah, uh, so I had to get to a point to where I had to learn how he communicated, right? Right, right. So that wasn't his form of communication, even though I'm an empath and I'm a cancer and I'm all emotional and I need to tell you what I need to tell you right now or I'm going to forget sleep right. when he always interrupted me. Um, <laughs> I had to. I, I learned that I had to keep a notebook or like some extra pieces of paper or something so I could jot it down. That way, like, hey, I don't like nobody bothering me when, I, when I'm sleeping. If you wake me up and I'm sleeping and then I have to give me that eggplant, we fighting. That's just the bottom line. Yeah, that's fine. So, but uh, but yeah, I don't like my naps interrupted. Period. Okay, unless I don't like my naps interrupted either because I. And so why would you wake that man up at two o'clock in the morning? 
You what? Was that not looking in? Dream got, I mean, uh, you got to call her wrong name. Plush got the flow, hush. You said what? Okay. I say, so if you don't like your sleep disturbed, why are we waking this man up at two in the morning? Because he should have started with me. Nah, nah, son. Nah. <laughs> you can't have your cake and eat it too, man. I'm going to go with you when you're right, and I'm not with you when you're wrong, okay? That conversation <laughs> could have ended with me. And, and I'm sitting there, and I can't sleep. I would have saved it. No, that would have saved the oh, argument. I know, I know how you feeling, though. I know how you feeling, though. He just started this shit. He over here sleeping like a baby. I'm going to wake his ass up. Like, you can't, you can't be vindictive like that. Now, you got to you off that, too. I got to work on that, though. I got to work yeah, on that. Yeah, yeah. Keep your little notebook right now. Everything you need to say. Even if you can't tell him in that there. moment, let him read it later and say, yeah. this is how I was feeling at 2 o'clock in the morning because you was over here sleeping like a baby. And I was wild. Okay? But don't wake him up out of his sleep. Now, that's just going to cause another argument. That's just going to cause another Because he's going to get the wild. He's waking me up. Exactly. What the hell you gonna be at two o'clock in the morning? You throwing that thing around in a circle or no? <laughs> nah, we gonna argue and then I'm gonna do that. Nah, nah, nah. See, that ain't in the movie because now we just got to argue. Nah, that ain't nah. Uh-huh. See, it's called makeup. Nah. Mm-hmm. It, 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 it don't even have to be, it don't even have to be no makeup if you need to serve the man while you sleep on it. Uh-huh. 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 Mm-hmm. But not me. I know how to. I know how to wait. I know how to wait. I'm gonna hit you when you good and comfortable, and you think I forgot about it. Yeah, but you can't. You can't do that in a real relationship. If you expect your relationship to last, you can't want to argue every time one of y'all. But wrong. I'm not. Gotta, I'm not argumentative though. I'm not argumentative. I'd rather have a conversation about everything first and foremost. It's just it be the men that don't want to conversate with me. They don't want to hear me out. They don't want to let me get I mean, my peace. Me not being a man. I'm not gonna talk to your ass at no two o'clock in the morning. Wait till I wake up. At two o'clock in the morning, I ain't gonna talk to you either. You just said you woke the man up at two. Oh him? No, nah, I ain't wake him up. I didn't wake him up. Uh, See, that was, was that's what happened when I was in my last relationship. I was with him for seven years. I yeah, woke him that, up because I'm not when y'all was tired of each other. Ooh, Jesus. Yeah, you start you start to tick tick when you tired of somebody. Y'all start doing that whole tick tick, which still isn't good. We have to find more effective ways to communicate. Yeah, it's so funny you just said that. I was just talking about that seven year rule, and everybody gets to that seven year, and that's the hard point to get over. Yeah, nah, see, mine, mine, mine wasn't your seven. Mine is your five every time, even with jobs. So they said, mine's your five, and I ain't where I want to be at. Oh, we're about to be hell in the city together. Mine was seven years, but we were young when we first got together, so I think that was another problem. Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all basically grew up at different levels. And yeah, we grew up. Couldn't find a way yeah. to meet in the middle. Yeah, because I was 20 and he was 21. And we broke up two years ago. I just realized something. What the hell, Heartless go? Did he fall asleep on us? I feel like I should add something else to this painting. What y'all think? To, um, you can... Well, I can uh, playing, honestly. Yeah, either add, like, a basket design. He sleep. Okay, I figured. I'm like, dang, drop on the screen. I ain't hear him say bye. Nothing. Um, you can add, like, a design to the basket, or you can add a shadow to the basket and figure out which side the light is coming from. Mm-hmm. Maybe give it a, maybe, maybe give it a little 3D effect, like the light hitting it, or shadow to the fruit, or something like that. Yeah, I've, been trying to chime in. I figured, I've been figuring, trying to figure it out. Yeah, I mean, or stick a wine bottle. That's the only people usually get <laughs> wine bottle. cheese, wine and cheese. My favorite, my favorite thing about this is the grape. Oh, Hold on, I think I did, I had to pick out some Rita left. Think you have some what left? Rita. Now, I think I want her. She might have Listen, I've been cleaning all week, so I deserve her. I still don't. I still have no clue what you said. You think you need some of Rita. Margaret. Okay, oh. Oh. I just wanted to show y'all my pain and I appreciate y'all feedbacks and everything. I'm no like, problem, boo. You can drop down if you want to. Oh. I'm happy to have you pop up. All right, <laughs> thank you. Grace us with your presence. <laughs> Hi. Thank you, bud. Hey, you got to wake him up. It's Friday. No, nah, nah, leave, leave that man alone. He'll never sleep. Let him sleep. No, no, I'm playing. I'm playing. Y'all, y'all still got y'all thing to do tomorrow. It's going to be all right. Yeah, my wife, who, who, who made the group chat? Sweaty! Sweaty, if the chair in bed and you want to come up, come on up. Uh, who, who made the group chat? I'm sorry, on, on TikTok. That's what you just did? Boy, you be trying to get off of here on 10 on the dot, don't it, God? Hey, I ain't even finished the pizza over here yet. This man done did a whole abstract piece of work. Yeah, we see you over there. So what's what's all the words on it? Just some motivational words? No, just words that describe me. Yeah. I just okay. Tell us, tell us what some of them say. Cause rapper is clearly not one of them. So we're not gonna go there tonight. Um, Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. So. <laughs> well, I don't know her like that yet. Uh, plus, I mean, uh, slick plus. Say y'all gotta do a cartoon together. 
Hello. Work far. Random adjectives. I just want to make sure I ain't hear rapper. That's all. So unless you talk about a candy rapper. <laughs> sir! Or you want to be a funny guy? <laughs> no, sir! Not tonight. Um, Big Mama Lex says, cool, peace. They're not. We just finished having a movie night. Okay. So let me know. Hit the request line. DJ, please pick up your phone. Open up your the request line. If you want to come up. Focus, Miss Pam. Say, let us see it. She couldn't see. Okay, what's the next part of the question? Oh, okay. Let, I'm going to give it to you. Don't be rushing because you're trying to run off at 10. Hold your damn horses. <laughs> we trying to view the masterpiece nice, over there. Nice. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lex. Thank you, Lex. Thank you, Big so, 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 going once, going twice. Is everybody done with the topic of expectations versus reality? Chris. Yes. Thanks for the follow. I can't see the name. Dan, what character Dunnigan? is that? Thank you. Huh? What character is that? That I'm doing? Yes. This is Max from Group Up. Uh, I can't talk. This is Max from Goof Troops and Roxanne, his boot team. Okay, I know I knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, going once, going twice. All right. Kev, what up? Welcome in. If you want to, um, if you were sweaty, want to come up, hit that button. Hit that button. Let me see, because these are not in order. Okay, so in a relationship, you know how people are always talking about what they bring to the table. Most of them ain't doing them bringing some hot ass breath and some funky ass. Um, and the mouth don't even be mouthing, okay? So, <laughs> what that mouth do? Slip? No, I'm just saying. But, um, what do you feel like you bring to the table in a relationship? Non monetary value. Something that's priceless that you don't think somebody else can give. And don't say dirt. <laughs> you know, let's, let's go. Me, I'm gonna bring the fun, the, spon the spontaneity, the spontaneousness. How many times I can say that? Uh, I already know what I bring to the table. The joy. <laughs> Yeah. And we got to think beyond sex and beyond monetary value. What do you bring to the table? Oh, we're going. Here. I'm gonna go. You know, I'm gonna hit you with all this personality. Yeah, yeah. I think for me, it's like peace of mind because I, I'm, I'm more level-headed when I'm in relationships. So peace of mind, intellect. I'm pretty. Peace of mind. I am supportive. So like, if my partner's trying to do something, I find ways to make it easier on them. And then, yeah, no fun. Got good drink. Oh, hold on, hold on, on for you. Y'all feel free to. You gonna be back? It's just getting good, sweetie. Y'all feel free to. Um, Go ahead, grab your heart beat. That's that little orange heart up there by my name. Go ahead, tap that. It's like uh, one coin. Um, and feel free to chime in on any of the topics in the comment section. Even if I don't read them, I might scroll back up to see them because I'm trying to paint and talk to y'all and drink it all at the same time. Okay? So my, my, my attention is very divided. I'm not going to lie to you, okay? Thanks, Sunny. Thanks for the heart beat. Okay, you four, you can see. Oh, no, I told you. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's peace of mind because I'm more like... What, what you give me is what you get back, right? I like I'm that. Not type, I'm, not, I'm not the jealous type to fight you over stupid things. Um, I don't I don't like making arguments over anything insignificant that isn't like like massive. Um, okay. I, I also like to have like intellectual conversations. So a lot of people like, they, they get in relationships where they just speak with the surface, like over the surface and stuff like that. I like to get deep and really understand my partner. Um, what else? Yeah, my personality, I don't think you're gonna find my personality elsewhere, honestly. I, I think that I'm like pretty unique, but when it comes to like, in a relationship, I'm pretty adventurous. <laughs> Don't I know it? But I, I feel that y'all. Before y'all answer, hold on. Let me go grab some paper towels again because I used all my. I told you that's how I know you remember. It, exactly, I surely do. I didn't forget. <laughs> Double horns. <laughs> You're like, so I know it. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a unique answer. You already got a unique answer, Snakes. Um, I had a question. I was talking to this guy. What's the question? Okay. Um, what what do what do you bring to the table in a relationship? A non monetary value, something that is priceless that you feel like it's worth more. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. No, that's not good enough. You gotta give mm -hmm. detail. Yeah, that's not good enough. More to go we don't time, want you. We want pressure, detail. My love. That's, it's me. Every Friday. Every Friday. You dance <laughs> around the motherfucking question. <laughs> it's simple. <laughs> That's Besides me. dick, mouth, and money. <laughs> and none, a time. invaluable item. Exactly, Sweat. He likes trying to be boring and trying to play it safe. Did he just say his presence? No, That's I'm not Sometimes we sit here and want your, your presence. Listen, what listen, listen, do that, you bring to the listen, table listen, that anybody listen, can give you listen. time? You can pay for time. What is a, a invaluable priceless no, thing? Okay, I, I, I bring spontaneity and I bring. I got mine. Yo, yo, what? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, to focus, cause you know I have to dig in some ass. No, <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was your answer, sir? What? Oh. Uh, 
what do you bring to the table in a relationship? Besides you. Can we got an echo? Turn your down. I bring a little bit of everything. What's everything? Y'all gotta go into detail. Y'all, y'all be irking me when I ask a question and y'all be giving these right. Kev, you can mute, mute, mute real quick. quick. Okay, Kev, drop down, clear your cache, and come back because I want you to be a part of the topic. Clear your cache, clear all your stuff off TikTok, and then come back up, please, sir, because it's gonna echo. Keep echoing if you don't. Um, focus. Go ahead, because ain't nobody got time to sleep. I swear to God. Out my out the box thinking. Please, somebody. Make it interesting. Hey, Jay. We, I can go into a situation and I will think in a way that no one else would think of. That's how you should handle that situation. So I'm out the box thinking. Okay, I like that. I like that. Sometimes All it right. works and sometimes it feels terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but at least you try. I did try. It, yeah. At least you're a visionary, honestly. Because you never know what's going to hit and what's going to hit. What's the terminology you have to do? I don't have. Visionary. Looks like you got his shit together now. You ready? Yeah. Oh, me? <laughs> he's like, no, he's there at us, waiting for him. Slick, he was like, he was like, yeah, I got it. Yeah. I don't know why I called you, okay, now y'all paying no attention. And I'm romantic by nature, you know what I'm saying? You might just come, you know what I'm saying? When I say me, me in itself, man, I'm a fun person. I'm always going to keep you laughing. I'm always going to be something new. You might come in and have a full coast, a full coast, going to make dinner on the table, kind of like, you know what I'm saying? You might go, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Did y'all be me? I'm going to be trying to make it all at least huh? he's using his brain at this point. Like, I don't even care what the answer is. It sound like he is thinking now. Like, he got his sleeping cap on. When you say romantic, no, girl, no, no, no. Okay, well, we need details. We don't need a dumb answer like me. We need me because uh, this, that, with her. Oh, you already told us what you bring, right? Me, yeah. Miss Pam, what you got? What do you bring to the table? What, what do you bring to the table in a relationship? Hold on, I'm gonna go ask my wife one second. Let me see what she said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tell the wife if she can shut me in. He trying. He trying to get Brandon points for spilling that paint on the carpet, y'all. We ain't even know. <laughs> he won't feel it too because he messed up clothes. But y'all ain't hear that for me. Y'all ain't hear that. Miss Pam, you can go ahead and answer my door. Nope. Okay, give me the question again. Nice. What do you bring to the? Shut up, Slip. What do you bring to the table in a relationship? That's a non-monetary value that you feel like is priceless that nobody else can offer your significant other. Oh, well, me. I try to come as a poor woman. And, and uh, represent myself being um, honest, trustworthy, and faithful. And we like, build on like that. that. We build on that. And once um, I, I come, I come in with uh, without a wall. But <laughs> the moment I start feeling a certain way and can prove it, mm -hmm. then I start building a wall. Put your guard back up. Yes. Really. I like that. I like that. Mm -hmm. See that slick. That's how you answer the question, by the way. Yeah. What's your wife say, focus? I don't like her answer. She said I'm a clown. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not that's for her. Mean. That's for her. I, was, I wasn't looking for Thank that. Thank you, Lex. I appreciate Wait, it. So, did you ask her what you brought to the relationship, or did you ask her what she brings to the relationship? No, I, I told her what happened, and she was like, Why are you putting me in your shit? I'm not in your chat. I said, What's <laughs> Answer. And she said, tell him you were a clown. Oh, okay. All right. So so what I'm getting out of this is she loved your your personality, you make her laugh. Yeah, I'm gonna take that, but I'm getting I wanna I'm, I'm gonna take that later. I'm gonna, <laughs> she didn't mean bozo, she meant that you keep it interesting. That's what that's what that's what she means. <laughs> but tell her, tell her I love and appreciate her answer and her honesty. It's funny around here. That's funny. Welcome back, Kel. Kel, the topic is, well, one of the other topics is, what do you bring to the table in a relationship that's a non-monetary um, value? And I forgot how else I heard it because the wine kicking in. I heard it all. You're not sex. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, I'm, that's not I'm like a, ass. I'm like a calm in the storm. <laughs> calm in the okay. storm? What you gonna okay. do? So your temperament. Yeah, so I'm very laid back. Um, I got it. I'm very patient, so like I've always been known what they call a positive peak. Like I could walk into work and they'd be like, "The building's on fire," and I'm the type of person that'd be like, "All right, well, let's figure it out." Okay, okay, I like that. I like that. So, so like, um, we, we literally just talked about this, where uh, the other young lady said she was in a relationship where the guy was very argumentative. Argument yeah, argument and I'm the opposite. Okay, all right. I like, I like the mellow, low tone talks. Um, <laughs> if you up here, 
I'm like, all right, you gotta, you gotta relax a little bit. Yeah. Come down here because there's no need to be yelling at each other. And that was all. Yeah. Um, and I also understand, like, sometimes you gotta agree to disagree. Fast. Like, because you're gonna stand on these morals and I'm gonna stand on my morals. Mm-hmm. And I gotta accept the fact that you're standing on your morals. I might not agree with your morals. It's kind of like if you're in a relationship and, like, you take the political view. He might vote for this person, but you might vote for this person. Right. I can't hate that you vote for that person because that's, you know, what suits you. Yeah. And I'm gonna vote for this person that suits me. However, it does not mean that I don't, you know, I mean, care for you or love you. Yeah, y'all just have different viewpoints. Yeah, we just have different viewpoints. And I expect you to stand on your morals. Stand on business. Yeah. I like that answer, bro. Can, yeah. can I ask you a question about that? You know how you said, like, you're not argumentative? Yeah. Does that mean nobody can bait you into an argument? Yeah, you know, you don't gotta be. I always say, I'm never gonna attend every fight that I'm invited to. So I feel like if it's not something worth arguing because it doesn't, you know, affect my my day to day or it doesn't affect my views or something like that i'm not going you can't bake me into arguments challenge accepted no i'm just kidding nah, nah, nah. i'm just kidding i'm just kidding yeah because a lot of people get baited and once it, so it's, it's kind of like somebody knocking you off your square once they figure out your buttons they yeah, they push them every you. time yeah. okay so it happens to me all the time but the way i explain it to people is i'm passionate yeah but sometimes that passion leads you down the wrong lane yeah we're fighting like sometimes you could be passionate about something but is it worth the fight all the time like because yeah, no, because they're not always going to see your, your view or agree with your passion. Does that change your that's passion? Like, that's the first thing people say when they, hey, sis, it's my sister in here, y'all. That's the first thing that people say when they like to argue. They like to say they're passionate. When well, they're yeah, passionate I'm passionate about a lot of things, but I, I don't expect you to see and, and share my passion. Call a shoe a shoe. So I can't argue you to agree with my passion. To so focus saying he going to argue you to death with a motivational thought. <laughs> that's, what, that's, that's what he's saying. <laughs> And like sometimes I, I see your point, I agree with your point, but it doesn't suit me and my views on things. Yeah. Uh, so y'all cooking, y'all cooking with far? Y'all cooking. Yeah, so I can't argue, I can't argue out of your out of your viewpoints and your passion. Like I would be then you're not being true <laughs> to yourself. And like when I'm in a relationship, like I don't want someone that's that doesn't have like their own passion, their own um hobbies, their own life. Sis, ignore the invitation. I was trying to send you a comment and hit the invite button, my bad. Ignore me. I know you're probably in the bed. I'm, I'm, really, I'm researching right now to how to stay at peace with myself and not argue and just to be more mellow. Yeah. And, and two focus, don't be over there arguing in your head either because it's going to be written all over your face. Oh, yeah. You don't have to say I have full blown arguments in my head. I can tell. I can tell. The way you stay at the screen, when you got something to say, it, I tell you to wait. I know you'll be over there talking about me in your head. That's all right. It's cool. Hey, that's all I suppose it's better to let it out. Look, wait, wait, wait. Don't try to be a bad influence. You can't even ask a question right. Stay in your lane. So, so um, tell me, tell me your sister, your sister's a kidnapper. I'm a what? You kidnapped me last night. I don't keep nothing that don't want to be killed. Uh-huh. I was trying to go ask me on my list. I kept saying, I'm tired. I'm going to go to sleep. Mm-mm. You talk all this big, this big talk like you put your foot down. Put your foot down. About what? So you can be crippled. Huh? None. Huh? Huh? Word. But yeah. No, I'm the Negro. I done told you. So what's the new one on top? Damn, y'all done with that so fast? God, I can't even fight nothing. Y'all got me here. She's still not so fast. I'm glad I wrote down a bunch of them. Um, let's see. Okay. So if you, if I know a lot of us is, is single. Some of us is single, not ready to mingle. By single, I mean not married. Okay, so uh, Lex, okay, you bring the Bible. All right, I'm, I'm not. You know, I can't argue with the Lord. Okay, uh, <laughs> you almost made me lose train of thought. Um, what made you know that your significant other? Actually, the married people can't answer this. What made you know that the person that you're with or were with was the one if you were married and divorced? Sit yourself down and talk to me. You say it again because I'm going to tell you what's on your mind. Yeah. Too focused. I feel like you don't be focusing over there. I believe you just got that name to try to make yourself learn how to focus and you just never learn how to do it. That I focus. Like. That's just the way I feel. Everybody else understood that question. No, I had problems with it. Thank you. Okay. Well, Pam, I'll go ahead just for you. Okay. Thank you, love. Yeah. I, I, I ain't staying focused over there because he be listening. He have his listening face on, but not his listening ears. Okay, Slick, explain he, the question. Hold on, hold on, Tim. He, he hold like on, on. Like he listening. Listening. Wait, he got to explain it. It's her he question. He wasn't listening either. Yeah, it's her question. Okay. <laughs> shit, we already know he don't listen. You asking the wrong person. You'd have been better off asking you for it. <laughs> shit. He going he to sit over there in his confusion and not say nothing. That's what he going to do. <laughs> oh, did we shed a lot of constants? I think I did. All right, so the question is, 
when choosing your significant other, whether it be your spouse or a person that you want to be your spouse, how did you know that they were the one? Because they never leave your mind 24 hours a day. Just think about, think about. You constantly think about them. You think about good things. You have a warm, fuzzy feeling on the inside. You give me butterflies inside. I say the way your face lights up when they call or they text you. When you get that. Uh-huh. That's what I feel like. Oh I, I got y'all, I got y'all preaching a little mini sermon and you don't even know it. That text me. Oh, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, what you guys are describing is like me and every single one of my relationships when they started. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. 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 Like, that that wasn't the, the question. That wasn't the question, ma'am. The question is. No, I'm gonna say, how you doing one, right? We ain't talking about every single relationship. We talking about the No, but that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. They, they that's start off good. Wait, wait, with this one, it was different. Because I, I feel like if I date anyone, they got to make me happy. But uh, right. Now, that's the simple answer. We talking about, that's why I said it's more so for those who are married or been, 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 or been I, married. I married, I married, but this man like asked me today, I'll marry him tomorrow. I, I, right. So what would make you say yes? There you go. You just simplified it for yourself. <laughs> what qualities in him lets you know that he, now but he is the is one. The one. Uh, so th this man, he like really understands me, but like he accepts me for who I am. Um, so w when we first started talking, I had this thing where I was, I met him online. I had this thing where any any time a guy hit on me, I would like, you know, Picasso, I would go and I would paint my face, a mustache. Uh, no, I remember. You remember? That's, why I you, that's why I bought you a beard. <laughs> okay, okay. So I used to do that often. And he just sat with me for, for like months before he was like, one day he's all like, oh girl, I, I gotta tell you, I know you're a black woman, but you look fine. I'm like, okay, he waited so I wouldn't be creeped out, right? He, he respected was, your boundaries. Exactly, exactly. So then we started talking and whatever. And what really sold me that like, like this was my person was I, I started talking to him about like something like traumatizing mm -hmm. and like, really personal. Mm -hmm. And he was the only person that actually tried to guide me out of like my panic attack and like whatever. Um, he sat there, he meditated with me, and like we had a conversation afterwards. And I, I just I felt understood. Like he understood why I was who I was. You know? Okay. Got you. Got you. Got you. Kale. Um, what you got? What you got for us? So I was married for seven years um, mm -hmm. to the person or to my ex-wife that I dated like all throughout high school. Mm -hmm. I think we got married because we had two kids at the time. We have three total. Um, we just bought a house. I just started working for the state. I think I was in my mid twenties. Um, society pressures, like what are you supposed to do after all that? Okay, so do you feel like that's also why it didn't work? Because I hear a lot of people say they get married because they got somebody pregnant, but that's not a- Nah, it wasn't it was not pregnant. It was just like, we've been together so long. We had kids, we had the house. Oh, no, not you, I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. just saying, do you feel like oh. the reasons that you said I do is the same reason why you said I don't-, I don't Yeah, because like, cause now, like, Co-parenting, our kids are older. We co we're like best friends, but we look yeah. at each other and we joke about it from time to time. Like, yo, if I'd have met you today, mm -hmm. we'd have been best friends, but I would have never dated you. Right, I never married. Yeah, yeah. And it, like we probably would have never dated mm -hmm. because we're just on two different spectrums. We we are, our values are kind of different. Um, yeah. The things we're into are kind of different. Um, so when it comes to that, I can't really speak. Um, the person I'm dating now, um, I can tolerate. You know That's a I big mean, thing. Like I mean, someone that doesn't earn their nose, more than tolerate. Yeah, look, you don't realize how how much being able to tolerate someone um, comes into play. So, what you, so are you saying like you can deal with all their quirks and all? Yeah. Their, okay, I got you. Yeah, like because because when you when you've been married, um, your your toleration for certain things is low. Like I don't have to hear. Yeah. Like especially when you're comfortable in that solitude. Yeah. Like I could be at home by myself, enjoying my time. Like I don't have to be in a relationship. Right. So I've been in relationships. So you just tolerate this person enough. Yeah. So like, prior okay, to her, okay. I've been in relationships where I'd be like, yeah, this ain't. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. have to deal with it. I'd rather be alone type situation. situation. I feel you. Mm -hmm. But it's a person that like I can tolerate. Uh, I don't mind <laughs> have a conversation with. And it's crazy because we kind of started off as what I call activity partners. Yeah. Like if I needed a date to a wedding. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. you know that's. You or know if that's I needed, you know, I wanted to go see a movie, but I didn't want to go by myself. That's how we trick you into shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, got him. <laughs> Like that no that no pressure type situation. Yeah. I feel you. Cause at first when you said tolerate, what the fuck you you gotta tolerate me? Yeah, because when you've been because when you've been married, you've been through um a divorce, like and then you get comfortable with being by yourself. Like yeah. cause some people can't get comfortable being alone. I love it. Like they get out of a relationship and they, they jump in, Cause they don't really they don't know who they are, they don't know what they enjoy. Yeah. Um 
and then you end up becoming like the other person and then yeah, you yeah like they take on the qualities the of the person like they're with yeah like you go from one relationships where you you were big in the bowling because that person was in the bowling then you yeah. go to another person they got something different so all of a sudden you latch on to that and you become interest, interested in yeah. that but what are you, you know about self yeah you first have to learn you yeah exactly you love you so, so like no, i say you like so, you then you love you so i always say i'm comfortable in the dark and now you can see the lights caroline all right guys i'm gonna catch y'all next five no, we know we know we know good night bye. 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 All right. bye, bye, focus. Bye. i always gotta be the party pooper <laughs> but yeah, i don't care because I'm, I'm divorced too so i definitely understand that but that was the thing i have a very low tolerance i don't like to repeat myself I don't like to there, there's a lot of things I don't like. We ain't gonna get into the whole laundry list. But yeah, I, I think that's what it was. I didn't I grew out of tolerance. Yeah, what's your sign? The fact that I've never had none anyway. Who, me? Huh? Yes. Which one of us? You. I I, I told you 50 times, I'm a counsel. That's the problem. Both of you and I are counsel. That, that is we not the problem. People. That is the answer. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I thought I heard you say it earlier. We're strong people. That is the answer mm. to your prayers. <laughs> <laughs> what day is your uh, June 29th. The day I'm the 28th. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 we almost twins, girl. I knew it. I knew it. It's almost twins. Yeah, I have a very strong personality, but I also know how to be subtle too, or subtle, because one of my friends was making fun of people who pronounce the B in subtle. Sometimes I say subtle because I be thinking about a subway. Don't judge me, judge me. Hey, Rick, I see you coming in my bed. I'm, I'm, I'm slow to speak. Rick asked you a question, I think, right? Yeah, he said he's been divorced two times. Third time is the charm. No, I mean, I, love it. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't got the legs out tonight. I'm feeling fat tonight because I, I went to Dunkin' before I got off work. So <laughs> I got on my fat girl sweats and a t shirt. Tonight, I'm the great sweat dance. Since he decided not to grace us with his presence. Oh, what is it? Now, where your ass at, Slick? Because you, you thought you was finna skate on by. I thought I answered that question. You didn't. Yes, I you did. thought like lit and lit ain't shit, and I done told you. I was the first one. Quit lying. Answer question. Man, you been tripping too much. I was the first one, man. What was, what was your answer? Refresh my memory. I forgot. Because you ain't answer, so answer <laughs> the damn question. <laughs> Let's go. Answer the question. He forgot the question. That's why he over this phone. I don't have an answer to it. You don't even remember the question. Sleek, I'm going to stop bringing your ass up here since you don't like participating. I thought we come up here to sip and jump. No, nah, you, you're a Debbie Dano. That's what you are. <laughs> we waiting on you. Okay. 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 That's somebody that matches match, I mean, match my vibe. You know what I'm saying? I was a good vibe. That wasn't you know? question, though. Listen, I'm going to tell you. I don't care about background. Happy birthday, Leon. I, hey, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, 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 birthday to you. Oh! That's remix. Woo-hoo! I'm the never get up. No. Yeah. Yeah. And the back of dancer, guys. And I'm, I'm doing my hip-hop. Go ahead. Shake some. 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 What made you determine that your person was the one? Whether you got one now or not, but I'm pretty sure you had one in your lifetime. What made you look at that person and say, yeah, you the one. You the one for me. Huh. You the one, girl. Yeah. You the one. Yeah, she made you fall out in the flow. Mm-mm, let him answer for himself, because he'll skate around a question if, if you don't. We ain't playing with him tonight. We is not playing with him tonight. You don't answer this question. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta think of how I can put these in words. I, I got the 18 and over on here, so you ain't got to worry about it. You ain't got to worry about it, Chris. Uh, I just gotta. Hey, I got this. What we asking? You take it too long. You already trying to skate around it. Bless you. You ain't skating the night, Craig. Okay, hold on. I got on. Uh, Let him clear okay. his throat. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he over there for a lot like he always do. Hey, Tasha. I'm yeah, not for a lot. Tasha, I don't see Tasha. Wait. Hold on, I think well, my headphones dying. Who got an echo? I don't know what the. I don't know what that one was. Who got an echo? Yeah, it probably well, is. It's probably dying because you got an echo. Well, just like oh, that. Yeah. It should be because they ain't on. They plugged in. Maybe it's the speaker. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, can y'all still hear me? Yes. Okay, all right, go ahead, Slip. I forgot. You have to get <laughs> answer the damn question. You do this shit every Friday and start to get on my damn nerves. <laughs> and be honest. Well, 
I guess it's the every time I see it, I get excited. I get the butt, I, I, I get the butterfly, and, and you know, it's just that you, a man, you know. Don't think I really explain it. It's just that you know when you met your person. We, well, we know when we met our person. We were like, yeah, just the one. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta have a reason. Right. What make you know that you know? Besides the you feeling, just know. Besides that little thing in your pants, besides that little no, shrimp standing up, it's, it's right on. <laughs> besides that little shrimp standing up, what we'll let you know hey, that she's there? Not, you're not letting me explain nothing. <laughs> Go ahead, you take it too long. Should I get great hair? No, no, you like, know. Like, 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 you know, like, 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 you know, you know what I'm saying? It's like a light bulb come up in your head. Okay, you be like, yeah, I can, you know what I'm saying? I can see this. You feel me? Like, I can see this. That was the answer this, right there. This, you can see yourself with that person. Damn, gotta dance around the facts and stay around. You know, you know, like, you know. You know that this person is your other will. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. like, the Bible says that. Here we go. Well, here we go. Listen, the Bible says, uh, we done went all night. Here we go. Adam, he took the real life Adam and made you. We know the history. That ain't got nothing to do with what I asked you. So, when you meet your other body part, you know mm -hmm. that's a perfect fit. It's just like putting okay. the part together. So, you know that that was your real. Yep. Sometimes we and man, we don't know what to do with that real but that real. Uh, shit, I ain't lying, you don't make a hard one go soft real quick. Make a wet dream turn dry here. Oh, Tasha! My dad used to do that real quick. You fuck up a wet dream. <laughs> make the make the banana go brown real quick. <laughs> yeah. Tasha, welcome up, welcome up, welcome up. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you're here. I'm tired of arguing with Slick. <laughs> How you feeling today, Tasha? You feeling good, sir? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I used to tell that to people, oh, you fucked up a wet dream. <laughs> I swear. Like, damn. I don't even know how to wet dream. Yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. Y'all put this in a fair I'm fair. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a cancer, so you know mine be wet. I don't do nothing but be around water anyway. I'm a crab, baby. Get the paint just like you want the clothes. Damn, I haven't checked any of my emails today. You be having about 3,000 of them anyway. Wake up. Oh, no, listen, listen. listen. <laughs> I have like, I have like, <laughs> I have like, 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 I have the first one was expectation versus reality. <laughs> oh, the things that you might expect out of a person versus what they actually do. But well, I forgot how I worded it. Somebody help me because the liquor is kicking in. <laughs> no, 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 that's how you worded it. Expectation versus reality in a relationship. Okay. I have to get my girl. Back. Um, I, my <laughs> I don't. I can't hear. It's a lot of background noise. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I met my husband and I thought like, okay, um, when he first took me out, he was such a gentleman, like open doors and stuff like that. And um, a couple more dates, we had started going out. The shit started fighting away. I was like, yo, you started something, you need to finish it, right? Mm -hmm. But um, on my part, I didn't like it at first, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so when he was just catering to you. Right, so he was doing it at first, but then I was like, I don't like it, I don't know. So he fell back on mm -hmm. me. <laughs> was, I started expecting it, but then I didn't get it. I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. So it was he my got part. used to something. It was like, well, since you don't like it, this shit I ain't never gonna do it anyway. That part. <laughs> that part. <laughs> that was one. That's next. What's next? 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 Next question. Um, the next one. Hold on, but y'all still got married? We married twenty six years. I told you twenty six years. You know why, Cam? It goes back to what you said. They were tolerant of each other. Yep. Yes, sir. Thanks. Now I'm low tolerance and I ain't got no patience. So you know I'm full of. <laughs> We gonna be single forever. That's not <laughs> but, true. Uh, There's somebody for you, sis. Nah, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just joking. I know you too pretty for that. It's, it's somebody. Oh, thank you. It's somebody that's gonna put up with my foolishness. Exactly, because my husband put up with my crap, so I know somebody. <laughs> somebody has before, but you know, I, I got tired of putting up with that shit. You know, put the shoes on the other foot. Uh, the next one was, what do you bring to the table that's yeah. not that's a non-monetary value that's priceless in a relationship? Well, nah, you see, I was about to say, don't start answering like slick now. We need details. No, me. When I say me, because I'm upbeat, I always try, and I don't let nobody give up on itself. Seriously, I might have some, you know, my issues like uh, my insecurity, but when it comes down to other people, I don't let them give up. I keep pushing. I help, help them push. I try to make them a better person. No matter how I'm feeling, I still try to. 
let me see the positive side of stuff. I don't try to, I don't wake up in the morning. I don't care how bad I feel. I don't wake up in the morning with a, gr no, uh, a grudge or anything like that. I don't be on grit. I'm, I'm not a morning person, but when you see me, I'm, good morning, you know, I'm happy to go mm -hmm. You don't know what a person went through that night, so you don't have to put that off on nobody. So that's what I try to do. Um, Cause my husband work hard. So I don't try to bring him no shit when he come home. You're right. So that's what I bring to the table. I don't try to um, overload him. My favorite scene. I ain't sleep with you last night with me. That's it. A lot of people um wake up in the morning already on grit. So I try already to on the wrong side of the head. That part. Nah. So I, and um I just um how can I put it? Positive reinforcement. I don't, you know, don't let nobody give up on itself. I like that, I like that. Nice. I can be stern, but I'm like I, I can be nice. You know what I mean? Nice. Yes, yes. I, I like I that. Love a nasty motherfucker. Yep, that's it. Um, and the next one, the last one that we left off with was what made you know that your person was a V one? Well, to be honest with you, um, at the time when I met my husband, I had been like, I don't know, it was burned by me and like me and was jackasses. I ain't want nothing to do with him. I was mm -hmm. gonna do, I want to do what they did to me. I was gonna do shit to them 10 times, right? So, so the time better. I was dating. And when I say dating, I had seven guys I was talking to, hanging out. Hey. No, we know we're not sleeping. Like yeah, we wasn't sleeping. Nobody was sleeping with each other. I ain't say sleeping. I just well, say you pimping. Pimping ain't dead. These hoes just a lot yeah, of fun. Yeah, you know, sometimes you say you had seven guys you talking to. Everybody's yeah. you know, like, you giving them the cookies now. One would take me out. Nah, 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 I, don't say that, I know the difference between dating and fucking. Right. So we'll go to the pool hall. One guy will go to the pool hall. Other one go play cards. Um, you know, go to car shows and movies. You know, you got a different person for it. You know, because I want to make my activity party. Here we go. Here we go, Kale. So, <laughs> so when I met my husband, he was all in one. So hey, Roger. He took me out to eat, right? Roger. Like I said, he opened the doors and all this stuff. And I didn't speak. You know how women say, when I want to make this is what I wanted to make. I never said anything. He told me yeah. what he was a woman. I was like, yeah. the light came on. I was like, oh. Yeah. I like, this is me. Mama. And he, he never pressed me. me. Yeah, but he never pressed me to have uh, sex or anything. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He, never, he was a gentleman. Like, he was the first yeah. real. That's the word. Yeah, so I was like, yeah. I was like, this is real. So I tested, you know, tested the water. I would do stuff to see if he was going to try to take the bank. Like, what can I do to see if he's going to try to sleep with me? You know, because if he starts sleeping, I'm going to yeah. go off. But he knew it. He's a gentleman. Straight gentleman. He, he knew you was ready to fire off. Yeah, so, a and so, you know, 26 years. We only dated um, eight months before we got married. Oh, wow. Eight months. And we've, okay. been, we've been together 26 years in October 2nd, which is my birthday. We'll be married 26 years. Well, it's your anniversary. It's your anniversary. Man, he's my Congratu best friend. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. We are, um, like, the stuff he was saying, it has the same mindset as everything. Like, same spiritual, yeah. same things about kids. Same goal. It was just like, you know, women sometimes run in my office and say, well, I want this and I want that. I said nothing the whole night. He was saying everything I was saying. He probably said, I got, I got real quiet. I was looking at him. I was waiting for him to say something. This, you know, a giveaway. I was like, do you know somebody I know? But he didn't know nobody I know. Yeah. So what you're saying is y'all were equally yoked. Yeah. Thank God. Thank God. He's my best. It's the beginning. Okay. Change me. I was kind of short. I was like, mm -hmm. like chocolate. I played mm -hmm. no So my edges are round now. So I used to <laughs> So he's yeah, just is round because what? My husband, he's he's stern but soft. You know what I'm saying? He made me feel yeah. like I was. He know how to deliver the message to you the way we did. Yeah, I was a butthole. I ain't gonna lie, I was a bit of an asshole. That was a club. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All right. You see my man? I can go back in the day. I seen Chocolate Man. I seen him. I seen him. That's what yes. I felt for, girl. You know, I all surely, that. I surely did. He had a big old muscle going, so he was waiting for something. He looked like he was about to be a little. He looked like that. Oh, <laughs> hey, DC. That's it. I think we so caught up in the dealings. All right. Right. So for the single people, because I know the majority is either taking a murder. Slick. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody, everybody can answer so, so somebody don't feel single out because he ain't going to answer the question. Hold on. Who that is? And guess what? We gonna backslide all the way back to the first oh, question just for I you. Know about <laughs> I, I, nope, you know, you know what I'm painting on. Read the comments. Nope. <laughs> I need to hear it from the horse's mouth. Okay. Um, but the last question is. Uh, let me see. Hold on, I lost my place. I'll come back to it because I lost my spot. Anyway, next from the beginning. Hold on, Expectations versus reality. Okay, my comment was <laughs> expectations um, kind of be a setup for failure. I mean, not failure, but disappointment, you know? You can't put too many expectations on other people. Okay. Yeah, take it okay. Okay. Yeah, next one. Coming up here trying to fire off real fast. I'm going to slow you down. Take it real slow. Um, 
What do you feel like you bring to the table in a relationship that's of a non-monetary value? The bottle. Well, yeah, mm-hmm. that's, that's true. I need a different, I need a different fine, answer. Fine, all right. Um, I'm very supportive. I'm almost too fault. It could be uh, too much support, but um, yeah, supportive. Um, I think I'm pretty peaceful when I want to be. <laughs> when you want to be. <laughs> okay. Now, explain the Bible for the people who don't know. And my and what I think is what you mean is a traditional woman. Is that what you're saying? Oh no, no. no. So um, what do you mean by the Bible? So what I mean the Bible is like when there's a situation that requires. Um, with him, I'm not gonna lean just on like because I can be thinking something and I can be thinking I'm right, but I'm like a man who submitted to God, and so like where we can both go to the Bible and kind of come up with an agreement like based on biblical knowledge, not just our, okay. 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 So you use it, you use it as a reference point. Uh, yeah, and praying together is, is important. Thank you, Plush. Okay, so you use the Bible as a reference instead of arguing. You want to make sure your point is valid. Right. Got you, got you, got you. All right. I'm picking up what you're putting down. All right. So, <laughs> I'll show you. What made you know that your person was the one? If you think they're the one, like all the way up to marriage type one, not not the one for right now, because some people get that too. <laughs> um, the communication, like, uh, Kind of being, I think uh, Euphoria touched on like just being understood, or it, it's not that's not a a thing that happens really often because I kind of speak a little different. And, you know, it was, it was just really different. Like the first time we talked, it was four days straight. You know, it wasn't like and it wasn't like hard to talk, and that was that was really different for me. It was easy to communicate. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like that. I like that. What's what you over there mumbling? I see you, Twister. Hey, Twister. Twister. Sleep, what you over there mumbling? I was just saying, I was thinking, I was thinking, Twister Love. Oh, okay. Thought you was over there trying to be a mumble rapper, trying to make your debut. <laughs> now you can uh, you rap, you never have that thing. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't, I had the last question, but I don't know what the hell. All the words is running together right now. Okay, the drink brought it out. For those who aren't settled, the relationship that you're in now, do you think you're ready and open for the end all be all? Oh That's if you're ready to take that next step and ready to get married or believe in marriage. I know some people don't believe in marriage. We got a lot of polygamists out here. Um, are you ready and are you open to the idea that this is this is it? If if this don't work, then tuck it in the bucket and say, fuck it. Okay. Get out. Um, who got the phone next? You go. <laughs> um are y'all familiar with that song by Wale? He got a lot of songs. Which one? Um with uh um, with Wale. Matchamon. That's the name of Matchamon. Yes, yes, you, continue. Do you know what um Sean Felt said at the beginning? This is kind of cool. He said that uh, nobody's really ready for marriage. It's just like, you know what I'm saying, like a roller coaster. You go over that hill. You just got to get over that hill. You just got to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because that, that is something new. Not everybody, everybody, everybody want to go over the hump. So do, do you, I'm asking you. Nobody as a person. Go over that so Wait, you as a person, like, do you feel like you are ready? We ain't worried about what mm-hmm. the damn song is like. I'm asking you. Okay, or I'm, you I'm, giving, I'm, giving, I'm explaining the best way I see for me. Okay. Everybody put your helmet on so y'all can understand sleep. You know what? <laughs> you know, that's, that's why it's such a adventure. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just gotta take that leap of faith. You know what I'm saying? You gotta take a leap of, a leap of faith and pray. So if it, if it came around to it, do you think you take the leap? Yes or no? Simple. Don't don't add no spank on it. Yes or no? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, that's all I wanted you to do was answer the question. Without giving us a leading explanation. Next. No, no, no. No, nah, you are, you are, you are, you are saying yeah. So that's your answer. Next, no, next. No, 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 I'll be moving on. Oh. Can you please say next question, please? Oh, Don't just I did. I said next. Next. It's how you say it. Next. Next. You better be glad I can't find my button. 
Gonna do that, I move some stuff around and say, there we go! Next! You all, the weakest link. Goodbye. Pam, you next. Um, I guess I can say yes. Okay. I'm twice married, twice divorced, but I still believe in love. Okay. You're never too old, you're never too young. So I got love on a two way street and lost it on a lonely highway. If my daughter comes in right now, it's all about she's finna get bad, she got a game. She ain't gonna see her for y'all thing no more. Quit being a hater, don't be a hater your whole life. Pam, hey, are you finished? Yes, ma'am. I was just giving you a little background music. Yeah. Thank you, appreciate it. That serenade. Yeah. Why are you still talking about his daughter? <laughs> <laughs> ain't, ain't, ain't nobody, ain't nobody sleep. I told y'all, y'all gotta. Whenever he opens his mouth, y'all gotta put your helmet on. Make sure it's padded, cause you're gonna bump your head if you turn before you get to that joint. And then she not tell you. If she feel like you gonna do all that, she gonna just go ahead and. He already, he already know he up here with a bunch of women. He, we ain't finna, we ain't finna do that with sleep tonight. We ain't got that much time on our hands. Um, Euphoria, Euphoria, dear, you're next. Do you feel like you're ready? Um, ready? No, but would I do it? Yes. I don't care. I, I freaking love this man. What? Am I ready? <laughs> That's right. So jump off the boat with no parachute. She going. She, she going to jump off the bridge. Oh yeah. <laughs> Listen, we all got bungee jump once in our life. Yeah, I know no, how. It. Not, Hell yeah. Any 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 moment, any second he tells me, I'll fucking go. Listen, but no, I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But you're not ready. Oh, but don't man say, let's get married today and start a family tomorrow. Fuck yeah. Fuck okay. Yeah. All right. I'm ready. Right. 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 That's why. That's why he's going with sense. That's why he's the one that had sense. I don't have no. I don't know what he said. Before he said she lived <laughs> West Side. I can't see you. <laughs> Cam, oh. Cam, do you think that you're ready to take that leap with your activity partner? Not if she watching. You ain't got an answer. <laughs> nah, not, even if she was watching, no, not yet. <laughs> okay. Um, but do I have I shut down that marriage um notion? No. Like, cause okay. I, I've been married once, and I got married super young, and, yeah. and didn't understand marriage. So you're not opposed. To, yeah, so I'm not opposed because I understand. I kind of understand, you know, it's a constant work. Yeah. Okay. All right. Whereas before so, we, when you're young, you know, when we doing? when hardships come and you're young, yeah. you're like, yeah, I don't got it. You're ready to book it? Yeah. Book it. Yeah. You don't so, understand so, marriage is supposed to be is a constant work. Right. Right. <laughs> so you feel like you're better today. Yeah. You're a better man than you were. Yeah. Ready. So I feel like if I entered into marriage now. It would be with the. I, I know there's going to be you know some hard times. Yeah. Okay. I like dance. I like dance. I like dance. Tasha, you already married, but you know we know your answer. <laughs> My question to you to switch it up. Do you feel like you're ready to do it all over again with the same person if you could? We did it already again, but I wouldn't get married. Something happened now. I wouldn't get married again. I got one and done. No, no, no. I mean, would you? 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 Since, since the question was basically to the people who haven't tied the knot yet, <laughs> since you already married, would you remarry your husband again? I did. I did it in uh, 2018. We did 20 years. Okay, but so saying, y'all renewed your vows. Yeah, but if okay. I had to get married to anybody else, I won't do it. Mm. Oh, no, I, I, I figured that would be your answer. That's why I'm asking about you. <laughs> <No, laughs> you know how old I, I was when I got married? How? When I got married on my 22nd birthday. Ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah. I got married at 25. Oh. So you know then. So I, I got married yeah. young. It's not bad. It's the best thing I did, yeah. but it's like... I still had some wild hairs in me because when we got married, I wasn't trying to get married. Yeah. He asked me, and I didn't want to tell him no because I was like, he's a good guy. So I said yes. But it came up so quick, I was like, oh shit. And the night before my own <laughs> I was outside crying, drunk, some food and I'm like, I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to put these at the ocean like that, wasn't you? But look at you, but look at you now. Yeah, but I told my husband, can we just tackle? He said no. I said, well, I don't want to do it. But I did. It's just a uh, cold feet, I believe, but I wasn't ready to be yeah. there. Like, when he asked me, I wasn't looking because I told you I want to do what me and me. I really want to be. Yeah. I, I want to be a hoe. I told you him, wanted, you yeah. wanted your get back. Yeah, get yeah, your lick back. Hoe. Yeah, I want a hoe real hard. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> I want a hoe real bad. <laughs> God said, don't. <laughs> yeah, my husband came right in and said, oh, nope. The Lord God said you've been delivered. Thanks for liking the live. What you think? I said your husband was the man in the bush. Oh yeah, he was most definitely. Like I said, <laughs> I wouldn't even be here if he was in my life because she, I was well, I was wilding out. I mean, like at a thug street. So, I didn't I didn't like it. Okay. okay. Euphoria, why your eyes so low? That margarita hitting you. We're going to tighten them eyes up, baby. I'll be back. I heard you say a real low. Usually you'd be like, okay, guys, I'll be back. <laughs> she put that hurt on you, ain't it? <laughs> I got this now. Hey, okay, hey, I think I like this much less too. <laughs> you struggling off? 
<laughs> Go ahead, do what you gotta do. What'd you say, Slick? Oh, uh, hey, but I who said hello to everyone. Locally? Locally? Um, I don't know, you gotta ask her. So, I see you're on it. Welcome to Sipping Intro. Hey. Intro. 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 Well, I'm not sipping. If you ain't sipping, you must be tripping. You slipping the ass. You know the risk. If you seen Booty Call, you might not know this. Um. Who next? Lex! Yes. I love it when you call me Big Mama. That's the question. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what was the question? If the opportunity presents itself for the end all be all, which for most of us is marriage, would you take that leap of faith? As as somebody so eloquently put it, I, I I can't remember who said it. You jumping off the bridge without a parachute? Oh, God. Me? Jumping off the side of the mountain without a bungee cord? I don't like those. Um, hmm. I can't hear you, Lex. You whispering? Yeah. Huh? Huh? Scared of, so I be here to So are you scared of rabbits? Am I scared of it? Yes. yes well, you, why you scared? Yeah. You just said you just said you was throwing a bottle at that man. So is you is or you ain't? No, I'm scared. Yeah, let me see Will you or won't you? I think marriage is such a beautiful thing. It has so much potential. Yes or no? Mm. Try to answer a question like slick up there. You bad influence. Don't do it. I, I it, so let me reword it. Let me reword it, cause I, cause yeah, cause you kind of scaring me a little bit. Listen, no, no, no. I understand. I understand you feel the pressures of marriage just in the question. <laughs> no, no, no. I feel, I feel her plight so with, without, right with, now, like with, right now, without going too deep. If everything aligned, okay, yes, okay, okay, one and done. All right. I wasn't trying. I wasn't trying to scare you. I don't know nothing. I don't, I don't know nothing. I just was asking. You, it. you got it. You got it. Okay. Um, I can't believe she's the hot pitch. You can sing over there. Do it again, do it again. <laughs> yeah, that 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 right there was like, oh, don't ask me that shit out loud. That's what that was. Oh, uh, oh and, and she was just scared of it. She like, uh, yeah, she's scared. <laughs> she's scared. Nah, let's, let's, not too much on Lex, nah, not too much on Lex. Let's, let's get off Lex. Can we hear what you got? <laughs> but uh, to remix that question. Okay, I'm going to turn off my, mute myself and turn off the camera so I can stuff my face. Okay, thank you. <laughs> with what? What you stuffing it with? <laughs> I got I got these potato chips, right? Right, right. But then I have this sauce. I forgot what sauce it was. What sauce is this? You eating sauce with chips? Yes, yes, it's You're like supposed to eat this. Yeah, that's that that's that margarita talking. She gotta coat that that look. No, <laughs> oh, put oh, anything that. together. Yeah, everything sounds good. I want it all. Give me a pepper with a little bit. That's that name of the sauce. <laughs> Hold on. We got it. We got it. It's spicy sauce. Focus focus on freedom. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> now to re to remix that question to everybody there are you as ready or as open as you think you are because there was some hesitations with some of the yeses so oh, i want to get married you want to or you don't i want to you know what i'm saying but i want that i want, I want that how can i put this you can't get no fairy tale fairy tales don't exist no. If I get mad, or when I when I get mad, I can say yeah. When I get mad, it's no quitting. It's none of that. No, that is kind of sacred. It's up and stuck. It's up and it's up. It's, stuck, it's up and it's stuck up because you know that's a, a matrimony upon the shield of God. That's the veil of God. Don't think people in the Bible they talk about. Yeah, okay. No, okay, okay. I'm letting go. No, yes. Okay. I want to. Yeah. Up and it's stuck. <laughs> I want. I want to get all spiritual. Don't be running people off. Okay. Aye. <laughs> you you can. I'm just already sleepy. I just don't want to um nose off because you once you start, you don't stop. We'll be on here till two o'clock. You ain't gonna be here for a long time. time. You gonna be here for a long time. When I want you to preach, you don't want to preach. Now now that I ain't in the mood for what now you want all of a sudden. You gotta, you gotta feel sick. You gotta feel sick. I don't feel sick. Then we gotta move. Why is moving tonight? That's the question. Why is it moving tonight? Who got a question? Me. Okay. Tasha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you a question. Right now, is the era of big weddings and big honeymoons, and then the marriage is garbage. So would you hey, take? People have big baby showers. Like, everybody want to go big, knowing damn well they ain't got the money to do it. But come on. That's hard. So would you? I would have a big baby. I would. I can't hear. I can't hear. Let Tasha speak. Let Tasha speak. Go ahead. Would you rather have? Uh, 
when he tore the house for a honeymoon, instead of the honeymoon, or would you have the big old wedding and reception and the honeymoon or money tore the house? That's what I want to ask because a lot of people these days, like I said, I look at them and like you said, they have uh, champagne pocket, I mean, champagne taste and beer pocket, right? Mm-hmm. And half the people at the wedding don't like them, but it's just this whole facade nowadays. So I'm saying, would you rather go um, on a lavish honeymoon or would you like money to put down on the house? And pay for the now, is, this, is this question for everybody or just me? Because I've been married before. Everybody, everybody. Okay, so I I go first, right? So I kind of did things in reverse because all of my siblings are married. Before my parents passed away, they were married. So I've seen nothing but a good depiction of strong relationships, at least in my mind and how I was on the outside looking in, right? So when I got married, it was because I really wanted to be married and I had the intention to stay married. He just was a jackass, okay? But that's not the other one, damn. So we did things in reverse because I was so ready. I kind of like accepted anything and we just got married at the courthouse right but i really would have wished that either my sister or my brothers or my grandma was there right anybody it could have been any one of the three and they weren't so i don't necessarily have to have a big ridiculous wedding but i want actual nuptials i don't want to be standing in front of the judge because i feel like i'm being tried okay. oh my gosh yeah, so okay, cause it could I, be it could be in the backyard, it could be on the front porch, it could be at the gazebo on the Mississippi River, right? I just I want somebody there to be a witness, right? Instead of just saying I'm ready and the next person to ask me, hell yeah, let's just be like you for you, just jumping off the damn bridge. We know what you cord, okay? Because well, I was I, like, I look, I'm tired of fornicating and I want this dick legally. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, next, next, next. Listen, I, w- I will have my people, the, the people that my dad, my mom, my brothers, and that's it. <laughs> Right, because I've seen yeah. people like have to be introduced to people at their wedding. I'm like, why wouldn't you already know everybody who's at your right. wedding? Like, I don't no, want to not do everybody for you. Like, not everybody for you. Like, that, I feel like a wedding is something so sacred. Yeah, like, like everybody don't have to be there. Exactly. Just give me the main, give me the main side yeah. to me. Because you, you know, have people secretly wishing for your downfall. Like, unless they're like really close or like someone that you really trust, I wouldn't invite them. Right, yeah. you know, like you just said, talking you got married. Of course, I got married in this little chapel called Dillon, South Carolina. Right, mm-hmm. it's my best friend, her husband, my mom. And my stepdad and my mother in law, and that was it. But we, but you, you had family there, like me. I was so ready, like I didn't care. Like so, I had my answer before. So technically, I can admit it today because I'm grown. Technically, the majority of the shit was our fault, okay? Because we rushed into it, okay? But like uh, Tasha said, she knew her husband for eight months. I knew mine for three, okay? But I knew what I wanted, and I was ready. And I was like, I'm not fit to be sleeping on the outside. I'm ready to, to to do it right, and not necessarily the next person. It wouldn't have been the wino on the corner, but the next person that I got to knew in a serious relationship, or at least in my mind at the time, I was 25. That was serious to me. I was like, I, I I'm ready to do this. Everybody I know married. I don't want to be the single person at the party, the third wheel. Let's go, right? So, um, I lost train of thought. But anyway, yeah, whatever the hell I was talking about. Next, me personally, I don't need a big wedding. I don't need a honeymoon. Let's take some of that money. Buy some chocolate, build a house, and put it in. I'm saying, they get some LLCs. You say buy some chocolate? chocolate? <laughs> no. <laughs> he said property uh, and get some LLCs. <laughs> I know y'all say my name so much. Y'all just want to say my name. That's a proposal. Nah, that was that was not it, cause. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Um, I'm gonna go with this. This revolution will not be televised. Okay. Kevin, what about you? Me? What about you? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't need a big wedding. I think um, a lot of people do these weddings for social media. Yeah, like to 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 show like um I got more than you or like my life yeah. is better than you. Keeping up with the Joneses is what yeah, we call it. Yeah, like I don't need that. Like keep the money in the bank account. Mm-hmm. Let this money bank interest. Now, not to offend nobody, ain't nothing wrong with the courthouse. That was just my first experience, so I'm kind of working in reverse. My cousin was the same way. She just had her her semi big wedding where yes, she did spend way too much money, but her significant other didn't have a problem with that because he knew that's what she wanted because of how the first marriage was. So oh, like. I ain't telling you to splurge and, and like whip out your, your wallet like that. I just want to make sure that somebody from my family is there instead of me like just standing there like a little chihuahua shaking like because I ain't gonna lie, I bluffed that man all the way to the altar because I thought he was playing. Oh, wow. Like uh, he was like, we get married today. I was like, you bullshit. He was like, let's go to the courthouse. I was like, bet. And then we pulled up and then he actually already had the marriage license. I was like, fuck. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, see, oh. I ain't no oh, all. That's 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 had an agenda. Yeah. 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 You say he's spontaneous, that's spontaneous? Nah, he was African. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no story. He was trying to get that green card. Green card. Exactly. He was trying to get the green card. Not the green card, he was trying to get in the military. And uh-huh. that would have made his process faster. The military actually was going to get him the green card. Well, the reason why I said it because I'm a green card baby, my mom. <laughs> yes. So, but what I was saying, our wedding was small at the chapel. But then we knew that we went to Cayman. Cayman Island, it was intimate on, a, on the beach. So, yeah, we did it right. Yeah. Nobody was there, though. We didn't want nobody. 
And then you had these big weddings, and then some of the people don't show up, so you know, wasting money. Yeah, all the fish plates going down the ground. Hey, I'm gonna eat them because I'm greedy, y'all. <laughs> y'all see, this ain't no fish pack, baby. They ain't nothing going away. Let's take home. We got a dose. Lex, did you want to ask that question too, ma'am? Oh, yeah, I don't like to entertain people that much. Like, I don't like, like, I, I'm not, I'm hospitable, but I don't, I don't really feel like I need to, like, show anybody anything. So I, I wouldn't do no, I've never wanted a big wedding, but I do want, like, right now, all my grandparents are living, so if I'm, they're going to have to be at the wedding, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right. I, that's a blessing. But like, to say, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, and, and like, I do the courthouse again. I just want somebody to be there. Right. No, I say no offense to the people who done it at the courthouse. I just know that I didn't have everybody. Cause, cause really, y'all want the truth? I'm gonna give y'all the tea. My sister said, "Get to know him better," and I was like, "I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do what I want. I do what I want." And then I went, and then I ain't tell how I was going. Cause I did what I want. So that's why I went nobody there. Cause I was like, "Surprise, I'm married." I did right there. I just like leave. At the same thing, Charlie. They told me not to get married. We've known each other eight months. You're a bad. It was times that it was this. And then it was times that I wish I had listened. So it wasn't all bad. It's just like, you know, but and, and you can't let outside opinions affect you all that much either. Because you never know. You might that might make you miss out on your bliss. Well, just well, so, just so, so, advice for everybody on this panel. So get married, keep your business. That's the crap. Keep your what? Keep, keep your what? That's your business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't oh, tell everybody yeah. y'all having problems. Because then when things is good, they're going to be like, y'all just all another day. Yeah, they're going to hold a grudge, so don't do it. Listen, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going you know to be real honest with you. The people I see, at least at it, from my perspective, dishing out advice, have like five kids from five different dads. Right. And Skeletons in the closet. Yeah, I'm just like, what the hell? Hell no, I ain't listening. Oh, not like Bojangles. But no, the, I, I only seek advice from certain people anyway. So like my yeah. sister, I just ain't listen to her that day. Because I want to do what I want. But my sister, like my grandma, they all have kids. And it used to be one of my brothers, but every now and again, he tried to lead me astray. <laughs> when he, like, when he don't want to do something, he don't want to do it. So, yeah, yeah, I, I definitely was. I, I, I went to the chapel. I was married now. I got my ball and training, but mostly I was in it for the balls. That's for the heartbeat. Yeah, I had my ball and training until I was That's in it for the balls. Day, I, I'll be, I'll be, thank you. I'll be right back. I was still stuff on my face. Now we got, yourself, uh, we, we got a sausage pot pie. <laughs> a sausage what? Pot <laughs> pie. Oh, I'm about to say, I'm going 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 to say, i am going to say i am going to say i am going to let me let me back right yeah rephrase that because then, oh, then then somebody gonna think they got a girlfriend forever yeah let me i'm not desperate to get married like i, right. I told i told my man i said look i like my peace if anything is interrupting that then um, i'm all right i'm all right being with yeah. you so, you know? okay i got another question i got a yeah, question okay let me next question it's for women like why why do a lot of women put a time stamp on certain things like i gotta have kids by this age or I because your age drops sir that's a simple or i gotta be married to be i need to be married by a certain age because they probably want kids and they don't want to have kids out of it like that pressure crazy, though. well i'm gonna say like I it's crazy to y'all because y'all y'all can pop out sperm whatever but, but I, know a lot of women, I know a lot of women like they, they get depressed over that yeah well it, it all boils down to simple answer other than me just talking shit. Simple answer, a lot of women were raised a certain type of way and that's all they heard their whole life. Okay. Me, I never come I never come conformed norm. to the norm. Like so if you tell me to do A, I'm gonna do B, C, and D and then come back to A later. Right. <laughs> so when I was younger playing with my Barbie dolls and the white picket fence shit, uh Barbie was in charge. Fuck Ken talking about over here. You know what I'm saying? Barbie wore them pants, you know what I mean? And I always took the baby and put the baby way over to the other side. Like, you know, it wasn't a white picket fence. I had my Jeep Wrangler. <laughs> like so that was just, but but that was me. Like I wasn't a girly girl, and I grew up with too many people who had kids before we was even in or out of high school. So that's like I don't have kids now. Now it's I always say I don't want kids. I don't want kids. That's just what I told myself growing up, so I wouldn't have them. Right now, if I was blessed with the right person at the right time with the right mind, and you know it just is what it is. If that was to happen, right? Yeah. But at the, but at the same time, I wasn't. My grandma drilling my head all the time. I want a rabbit. I want a rabbit. Baby, I get you another dog. Like I don't. I don't know what you want from me. Like I was never one of those ones who knew. I grew up in a struggle, right? My mom did the best she could. She what she could, right? But we grew up in poverty, and I always told myself like I'm not. I'm not bringing another mouth to feed that I can't take care of, right? And I'm definitely. I don't want to be a baby mama. Sorry. Um. I don't want no kids out of wedlock. Sorry. All of us was bastards. Um. 
and 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 that's why like even when I got married, something in me knew that I didn't want no kids with him, right? That was before like and, and like I say, I, I I joke and I make it sound horrible. It wasn't horrible, but I knew like that wasn't the person I wanted to procreate with. Like and too. Yeah, like I'm, I'm stuck with you for the next 18 years. No, sir. Uh uh-uh. uh. What I would do because I don't conform to the norm, you and that baby gonna have a suitcase and y'all get the fuck off. That's how deta- that's how detached I was at the time. Like no, because I, I see women try to trap men with kids all the time. Then they end up being a bit of baby mama. Then they make all of us look bad because they wasn't happy, but they did this because they thought it was going to make you happy. And not everybody unhappy, not a child bad as hell and in jail. So, no. Like, I wasn't going to put myself through all of that. I have relatives that had kids young, and I was like, that's that's not your guy. Like, I can't tell you what he's doing because, you know, they my people's too, but no, don't 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 have a baby by this person. And then five seconds later, they knock up. Oh, well, sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Like yo yo, cause that I know that matter. I'm not rushing that. I'm not rushing the process. No. Or I reached my goal. <laughs> yeah. No, I ain't got them type of goals. My goal is to be able to provide or be provided for, and not have to struggle while doing it. Got you. So if I gotta be fifty like Janet Jackson and adopt, it is what it is. I don't. I don't. I don't want to bring a child into something that's gonna be uh, tainted or bitter or because I went into it with the with the wrong idea. I wasn't gonna put something permanent on myself that I wasn't ready for. Because if I'm, I'm over here like Tyrone Davis eating beans out of the can, how the hell am I going to burst feed the child out of the sodium in my system? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, like I think, like, um, I think it was too focused saying he think outside the box. Like, I listen, I, I have to make a whole other shape. The box ain't even a box no more. I go outside the universe when I'm thinking. And I, I go all the way, because like I said, I like to, even though I know you can't plan life and things do go wrong, I like to have a plan, a backup plan, another plan, a plan to go with that plan, and then it is what it is after that. So That makes sense. Yeah, I need, I need stability. I need to know that you ain't gonna leave me just because I put on a couple pounds, my weight fluctuate. Like, it was a, a few things that my ex used to say or do, like his behavior. I'm like, nah, I'm not bringing another one of you in this world. You got me good. Like, I'm good, homie. And then there was a moment of weakness. I was like, oh, I wanna, I, you know, like every woman has that biological clock right here. Yeah. And there are times in our life we're like, oh, I want a baby. And then, but then you got just some people say, oh, I want a baby. And then they have a baby, right? Me, I, I'm like, oh, I want a baby. Then I look at who I'm with and I'm like, do we really need another one of you? Mm. So, they're like, you barely can take care of you and me. Why the hell we bring a baby in here? Makes sense. But not everybody see it like that. Some people, you know, if they, it's, it's plenty of women out here who, who can do everything on their own, who want to do everything on their own. Like, them, I don't need a man, da 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 blah, blah, blah. Hell. All right, good luck. Do what you do, but watch my shoes. And if that's your story, that's your story. But I know the kid, the kid wants stability, and she don't want nobody that's a fly by nighter. And you here for a strong time and not a long time. Better put that magnum on, buddy. Well, your question, kid. Um. I wanted a baby when I was like in my mid 20s because I felt like I was getting old because of the way I was raised. And I wasn't getting old. It was just like yes. the way I was raised had in my mind like, oh, I'm the baby. Right. Yeah. And that's because the medical field wasn't what it is now, too. Yeah. And the life expectancy. Yeah. Shit, my shit fell out the chest. Yeah, so it's a different age. And, and like, uh, uh, and I've had some trauma, too, right? So my mom actually flatlined when she had me. That made me not want kids because I'm like, damn. She was young when she had me. Like, Hell, is that gonna happen to me? And so I start panicking and overthinking stuff too. And I'm like, nah, I'm cool. So it's it's different strokes for different folks. Some people can pop them out back to back to back. The doctor say, wait, and you be like, my legs open. So yeah, so that's that's why some people put a time frame on stuff. It just it boils down to they beliefs and how they was raised and all that stuff. Hell, to make a long story short, I know we kind of danced around it a little bit. Nah, because I just get that a lot from women. Like, especially if you ask, like, where do you see yourself in the next? certain amount of years well a lot of times too they think that's what men want to hear yeah like they they feel like if you present yourself as a, at a certain level of maturity then inevitably you want to carry your name on right you eventually want your own seat so i'm gonna tell you what you want to hear because pick me pick me pick me instead of just being honest with yourself yeah how's she back yeah what's your question we didn't answer to the answer so, do you have a problem with your woman making more money than you? Who, me? The man. Absolutely not. The man's this. Oh, uh, what was the question again? Oh, you just was ignoring me now. All of a sudden, you know. <laughs> Find that your woman make more money than you? Because you're I think his ego would get in the way. I got a big ego. 
I have zero problems with it. That was that was a chair, not my ass. I wasn't tooting and moving tonight. Chair slip slide home. Yeah, I've been in a couple relationships where um, my partner made more money than me, and I, it didn't bother me one bit. Slick, you gonna ask the question, or you just gonna sit there and try to look pretty? <laughs> Slick, I know you hear us. You breaking up. What's your answer? Get, speak in the microphone, we can't hear you. I think he froze. He ain't froze his box lighting up. Not on my head. I said I seen his box lighting up. Yeah, but his hand ain't moved. No, his ass probably asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Slick. He probably sleep. I thought I saw dread move. Could be one. I was just staring at it, trying to figure out if it's frozen or not. Nah, at first his box was lighting up, but he, he his shit froze. He said he was having problems on the AT&T. That's just his excuse to uh, go to bed early. Yes, we talking about you. Answer the question. Your signal messed up. You might need to drop and come back. Why he figured that out? If anybody got any more questions, y'all go ahead. I have a question for Kim. <laughs> did any of the women that you that made more than you um did they ever have a problem with you? With me making less than them? Mm-hmm. Nah. Okay. Like, cause I'm a school teacher, so, and I've been for 17 years, so, like, my ceiling is only so high, and like, I work literally because the benefits are great. Um, summer's off, the pay's decent. Could I make more money in a different career field? Yeah, but like, that's not my passion. And I can go to like in my in my state. I live in Delaware. We have craft foods. I can go and work craft at craft food and make, you know. Thirty dollars an hour plus mandatory overtime and make a whole bunch of money, but that's not going to be my passion. Like I would hate it. So like a, um, a few women that I dated that made more than me worked in the medical field. They put a lot of time in school. The medical field paid really well. And actually, what you think? Huh? What do you think? Uh, elementary school art. Oh, that is so cool. Hey Nancy. Yeah, both my parents are teaching. Um, um, I, I get that they do enjoy their summer. Yeah, so like I have been like career, and it's it's crazy because job wise, yes, she made like they made more than me, but also have the ability to make money outside of my job. So, like I do like the paper, um, I do a bunch of other stuff on the side. Our programs with boys and girls clubs. So, like, Nancy, how great of you to join us? Four hours too late. So like I had access to make extra money. BB, hello. All right, what I miss? Like, uh, they just asked if um the person, the women that made more than me, if they had a problem with making more than me. Oh. Um, I was just saying I work as a school teacher, so like it's not the it's a decent paid job. The benefits are great. The time off is great. I could work a factory job and make way more, but I wouldn't be, I would be miserable. Mm -hmm. Now, I pulled out all my paint last night and still can't find the one I'm looking for. Oh, so how y'all like this topic tonight? Huh? I feel like y'all ate that up. Way more participation this time around.
damn it. Let me turn the camera around so y'all can see what I'm at. I can see you. I don't want you to see me. I want you to see them. Oh, good. Nice. Wait a minute. You want to keep the plate? Okay. I'm trying to do a big one. But guess what, y'all? We made it to midnight, and I don't even feel like um looking for my song. So, um, Kev, you about ready to wrap it up, or are you going to stay yeah. on and, and get on your own life? I'm about to call it tonight. Okay. Well, I preached a turning point, Lord, 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 in my life. Mm -hmm. That's all you're going to get tonight. Um, thank you guys for sticking around and coming through. And Yeah, you always late because uh, I beat them Ben sent the link, sir, which I ain't sent it to you tonight because I figured you was doing your live. But yeah, you always late. 8.30-ish. On the dot, not the dot. Um, is she straightening her hair? Yeah, she got a brush that straightens her hair, uh, Nancy. Yeah. So you know, you know, I'm she not, has all the TikTok shop items. You know, when the reader kick in and she get ready for bed, she just start doing a whole bunch of random shit on live. I think I just go on so, live and keep doing this. <laughs> yeah, which is she hard headed? She don't listen. I told her quick put out that he don't know how, but she do what she want. I know, but like I like that, what you know. It this truck, what's the ish? You don't understand. It's either eight thirty or eight thirty ish, meaning eight forty five, then a half. Sometimes nine, depending on what time I wake up from my nap. That's it. No later than that because I don't stay on past midnight. That's that's it. That's all. Let me see. Hold on. Oh, I thought I was hearing things. All right, y'all have a good but night. Everybody have a good night and thank you for coming. Bye. 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 Bye.